Houston, we have a problem. Or, how to keep your plants looking fresh by proper watering. You've gone to a nursery and you found a beautiful plant that you want in your yard. You buy it, you bring it home, you plant it. You put mulch around it, you water it, and you care for it. After a few weeks, you go out and you look at your beautiful plant and you find it's changed into this dragon. The leaves are drooped, there's brown leaves on it, it's lost its vigor and luster, and you wonder what went wrong. Likely, this plant suffered from a lack of water. In our nursery, we deal with this problem all the time. But what we try and do is we try and catch the problem before it becomes a major problem. In this picture, there's one tree in this group of laurels where it is stressed. And if you look around and you can see the difference in the vigor between the stressed tree and the hardy trees, you realize that this tree has a problem. So we went over to the tree and we checked it and we found that it was not receiving water. So the simple solution was to connect the water and run water again to water the trees. And lo and behold, after 24 hours, the tree recovered completely because it was not stressed too hard. At this point, you can correct the damage done to a tree or a shrub when it's just slightly stressed. A hard stress is hard on the plants, so you want to avoid that. The obvious next question is, how do you determine when to water? How do you know how much water to water? And how do you know if the water is being effective? Well, simply put, it's not when you water, it's not how much water you use or how long you water. It's does the plant need water? And if it does, how do you determine that? In our nursery, what we do is we walk around and we observe the plants. We want to see the plant that's not performing well. We can have a hundred plants in the nursery that are all performing well, but we're looking for the ones that are unusual, the ones that aren't doing what they are supposed to do. Those are the key indicators that we use to determine, first and foremost, is the system working correctly? Is our watering working correctly? Or do all the trees need to be watered? Or is it just this one? We'll go over to this tree and we'll test it. We'll look and see, first of all, is our watering system delivering the correct amount of water at the proper intervals? Or is there some reason why the watering system isn't working? We, in this case, this particular tree, the watering system failed because the water line got disconnected. So merely reconnecting the water line was all we needed to do. We like to test all the other trees as well at the same time, and we do this with a finger test. We put our finger in the, the root ball of the tree and we feel to see what condition the root ball is in. We want it to be moist, not wet, and not dry. We don't want to see puddles of water around any tree. We just want to use the correct amount of water to keep it moist, not wet, and not dry. And that is the key for you in your landscape as well. When you're looking at your trees or shrubs, look at the root ball as well as the foliage to determine if you need to water. Just make sure you don't have puddles of water around the tree because that's just as bad as too little water for the tree. Make sure that the root ball stays moist, not wet, and not dry. No one can tell you how long to water the tree. No one can tell you how much water the tree is going to need because those are factors that change by the weather, the sunlight, the wind, and environmental factors that no one can predict or control. So your job is to control the water by giving the plant the water it needs when it needs it. If you have any questions, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We'll be more than glad to answer your watering questions. We also have watering kits that we sell so that you can water your trees properly. And we also deliver and plant our nursery stock to many locations on the East Coast. We also have seedlings for beginners, and we can ship UPS, common carrier, or on our trucks. 
So give us a call for your nursery stock needs at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. Thank you.